Ola Badmos TV. Entertainment without bounds. we have woken up as youths in the country it's really refreshing to know that we can stand for, we know what is right and it's, I'm happy to see that we can stand up for it so after now we just need to take it one step at a time go to the next problem we need a complete reform of our government system we need roads good roads good better um, education systems better health care we just need better things and we're going to fight for it we don't know what's going to be next but we will support every move that's going to make this country better we want people to know the Nigerians are disgusted, the Nigerians are disenchanted, and there is a, a reign of hopelessness and despondency. We must say no to that, and Nigerians must stand on their feet. And this is the time. So we are here to support the protests, we are here to support the demonstrations, we are here to lend our weight, our spirit, and our body to what is going on. I keep saying that we are leaders of tomorrow, but we believe we are leaders right now. We don't want SARS, we don't want SWAT, we don't want any unit that will be formed within three days with the same people that keep killing us, the people who keep killing our brothers and people who keep killing our sisters. Okay, so we're all here to protest this. We don't want SARS. End SARS now. Honestly, genuinely, I think the changing of SARS to SWAT is just a setup. That's what I call it. But then guess what? The revolution is on African youth and then he shall be televised. Peace. My name is Fari and I'm from Russia. So people still asking me why am I here on this protest, why I keep coming. Uh, not because I want to show up, but because I really, I really they vex for this country. Uh, why am I here? Because I want to see a big, big change. I want Nigeria to change. And I don't really understand why and SAS is and SWAT now. There's nothing like SWAT, SAS, no, there should be nothing and everything. You know what you do there? You can't say, you both say what? Any that goes up, SAS, I don't come down. I understand. All the old SAS that are in Nigeria, I command them. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. And SAS. We don't need SARS, we don't need SWAT. So the government has nothing to do. So SARS, SARS is like when Nepal changed from uh, uh, from Nepal to, to, to PHCN. It's still the same thing, no light. So that's why we don't need SARS. SARS and SWAT are still the same thing. In the past three days, they've changed the name from SARS to SWAT. Now I want to pose a question. What is the difference between SWAT and SARS? Now, we Nigerian you will no longer care anymore. We just want the police brutality to be ended. Whether SWAT or SAS. <laughs> The name can be changed, but the operations can never be different. They can never be different. They are still working under the same um, police umbrella. So those people that are being changed from SARS to SWAT, what are they what are they doing? Are they actually performing the police duty rightly? But what we the Nigerian youth are tired of is the police brutality. What it is that the average Nigerian youth is tired. We're not joking. 
don't take us for fools. We know you're listening. You, we know you're watching us. All we're asking you is for you to listen to us. No one is joking here. Nobody has hijacked this protest. And you guys should not make it a thing that is political. This is not about APC. This is not about PDP. I'm going to have my children and I don't want them to see the same thing. Our parents are at home. They are very old. They can't come on the streets. You can't continue this. Enough is enough. Stop telling us that they've hijacked this. Who is hijacking what? Don't make it all about religion. Don't make it all about this is your bad Igbo house. No, we're all Nigerians. We're asking for one thing. I am not listening. If you are listening, you will not bring about SWAT. What is SWAT? In a week, you brought about SWAT. You think we're dumb? We're not dumb. Go back to that office. Put all of it because we know you are watching us. Put a team of people together. Responsible people, don't sit down because we are ready. We are even in the corona period. That's what you call this. We sat down for how long at home? We are going to sit down today. Something that has changed in the country. We are going nowhere. If you don't listen to us, we are here next year. We are going to keep on closing down these store gates. If you are not ready to listen, if you are not ready to listen to us, we are not ready to listen to you too. We kept you there. So don't tell us about AP. We don't care about APC. We don't care about PDP. We don't care about ZXYZ. We care about the average Nigerian youth. Give us basic amenities, lights, education. You don't listen. If you listen, you will bring about SWAT. What is SWAT? And the fucking sass. If you are going to do Kappa 1 Kappa show, the truth is, better come out and protest because after that one year, joblessness is waiting for you. hoping and I am praying to God that we do not lose this ginger because if at some point we, we reform the Nigerian police and we decide that that's all then we are in trouble because we have been under oppression for so long we have been under basic slavery modern day slavery from our leaders who are supposed to be servants to the people but they are they have become dictators and lords over us so this is the first step to many more steps I believe that the youth are now genuinely tired of the oppression how many people are out here on a on a working day it just goes a long way to show you that there is massive unemployment in this country and these people expect us to sit at home and continue to take this crap no the time is now we the new generation have decided that we are not going to keep being oppressed and we are standing up for it police brutality is the number one step and we are moving forward to ask for good governance and better leadership in this country so why swat well i just felt they hurriedly wanted to impress us so they changed the name from SAS to SWAT. But it's all the same thing and we want something different. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Juma prayer tomorrow, 1 p.m. And tomorrow night, this evening, by tomorrow, like this, we will get our festival of lights. 
All those our brothers and our sisters, where those idiot stars don't kill, we won't pay them respect. Are you getting me? Please, if you know that you get this ATM card, that fresh ATM, they never even watch them. In only four. Sunday, Andrew, Enya, Zenith Bank. I beg, go take your ATM. And if you are coming, you go bring your ID card. The ID card will get that the same name. Before you don't go collect the ID card, you will do it. Thank you. Understand. Me, they don't say we are all human beings. And when you are treating with anybody, you must not like correct. Then they feel like for God, for Allah, he did make my mind. Then they feel like my dad, he did touch my. I pray for him. And let them go. My people. I'm going to clap for myself. One more time. DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne. Hi, wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos, and of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And guys, please do not forget that this pandemic in the lab, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands. We should use alcohol-based sanitizer. We should maintain social distancing. We should use nose masks to be protected. Above all, guys, let's stay safe. Enola Padmos TV Entertainment without